We got to talk about these things called bundles in Google Inbox. They're not vastly different than things we used to call folders or mailboxes or labels in the past, but they are they do have some behavioral differences. So we will take a look at those. First of all, if I go up and click on the icon that will take me to my main menu in my Google inbox. You will notice if you go scrolling down the main menu that the bundles are listed here. Now, several of them, such as travel, purchases, finance, social, are pre-made bundles provided to you care of Google. And Google has um, sophisticated techniques that I can't even begin to explain to identify uh, the contents of an email and to throw them into these pre-established bundles. So for example, I did get a bill from Comcast and Google Inbox knew to put that in my finance bundle. Um, right now if I click on finance, the bundle name is at the top. I actually only have one email in that bundle. If I go back to my inbox, you'll notice that I have another bundle right here called social. If I click on that, you'll see the name of the bundle at the top and then the emails listed in reverse chronological order and they're kind of separated by um, when they were received yesterday, this month, October, etc. I kind of like the bundle concept. Um, for one, the promotions bundle, which I actually just trashed every single one in my promotions bu bundle. Um, it's, there is a way that you can just get rid of everything all in one fell swoop. Um, so, and I, I showed that in my last video about deleting mail in Google Inbox. And so the bundling is helpful to me because it does cluster things together that are like each other and it's a way for me to get rid of things or take care of things very quickly. So I'm going to close this bundle and then I'm going to talk a little bit about customized bundles. So in addition to the ones that are provided to you by Google that I mentioned before, I have a couple other ones here as well. So I'm just going to focus in on this one that I call church. I get a lot of email from my church. And so what happened is I decided to create a bundle the last time I got the newsletter from the church. So what, so what you can do anytime that you get a message that you want to bundle, you can click on the dots next to the individual mes message. And if you don't have a bundle that it belongs to and you want one, you can hit on create new. So I'm going to hit create new here. I am going to put a fictitious name here. So ski team, because it does belong to my ski it is associated with the ski team that I'm involved in. I click save and then you get the option to always do this from that author. So anything that comes from that individual person will always go into that bundle. Well, you can also add rules to a bundle. So for example, I created this bundle called church and I'm going to go in here and click on the settings button. And one of the things you can do is add what we would formally call rules but it's a little bit different. So if I click add, you have a couple choices for the criteria by which um, the mail message is going to get analyzed to decide whether or not it belongs in that bundle or not. So I decided, I'm gonna hit cancel here, that anything that includes my church's name is going to automatically go into that bundle and it's gonna do it as soon as it arrives. Now, this is different than something automatically going into a folder, which I wouldn't like that so much because if something automatically, because of a rule, went into an email folder, I may not notice that something new arrived. But if it goes into a bundle, it's going to appear in your inbox labeled with that bundle, so it'll be very apparent that you have new mail that's associated with that bundle formally called a label or a folder. So it treats it in many ways like it's belonging to new mail, but it's also um, part of a pre-established set of criteria for like emails. So bundles are used in Google Inbox to be more efficient and effective with dealing with the contents of similar messages and a bundle will appear on top. Um, the last bundle that I got a message in was my social bundle. And um, you also can, if you click on this button, you can sweep um, all of those messages all at once, which means that they go to the done part of your box. So if I wanna see those again, I click on done and they are in here. If 
I wanted to trash all of those messages at once, I could do that as well. If I open social, I can click over here and I can trash them all in one fell swoop. So there you have it, bundles. It's just a restructured way of connecting the similar emails together.